Slater Crusaders, America's the greatest country in the world. How are you? Hope you had a great weekend. Coming up at the end of the show, we're going to talk with um, Professor Vincent Racaniello from Columbia University, as we do every Monday. He talked to Fauci the other day, so he's got a ton of insight uh, from him that we will share coming up with the latest with COVID. Uh, first, I want to start here. I want to play a bunch of clips, just kind of random clips from some uh, black intellectuals in America who are genius. Um, remember, maybe like three weeks ago, I told the story of uh, one of my friends who was able to uh, deprogram someone from the Black Lives Matter cult. And there was like a five-step program, five-step path that he took that we outlined. And I think like step three or something was uh, get the person to know who's in this cult, get them to know that there is not a unanimity of, of opinion for all black people about Black Lives Matter and, and everything else that's going on today in that, in that realm. Uh, break that mold, this idea that, oh, well, like, I support black people, so I need to view, because all black people think the same thing, so I need to agree with them on that. If you just shatter that for them, then it kind of, like, makes them wake up a little bit. So, all right, we'll start off here. This is uh, Thomas Chatterton Williams. He says, you have one single life on this earth, and you're going to be indoctrinated into an all-consuming quasi-religious belief that the only thing that determines your happiness and prosperity is the random lottery of an arbitrary color grouping you've been assigned at birth? Yes, that's what we're supposed to believe. This is Chloe Valdery. I've never heard her last name pronounced. I hope I'm getting that right. Um, uh, she wrote a beautiful editorial the other day, I think in the New York Times. But anyway, here she is on uh, Brett Weinstein's podcast. I would say to piggyback on what has already been said, that for me this looks like a crisis of meaning in the country so i think that we are as citizens increasingly atomized and isolated both socially certainly due to covid19 but we've been isolated prior to that um, and i also think that there's a spiritual malnourishment in the country that manifests itself in certain ways one of which is racially i think that the way in which this idea of anti-racism has been uh, proliferating over the past few months is a direct product of that spiritual malnourishment. And so without addressing that issue, we will continue to have these issues pop up every so often. Yeah, two great points. I love the, the, the crisis of meaning, right? And atomized, we're increasingly atomized like with an A, like an atom, like little tiny atoms. Um, and I like how she said we've been, we've been building this for a long time. So capitalism has, has done this part of it. Um, just this, this idolize, uh, idolization of materialism, uh, choosing things over people and relationships, breakdown of the family, all of these things have made us more atomized. Remember a long, long time ago, we did a segment on, on architecture and how the center of the home used to be the front porch. So that was the, the, the focal point. I should say the focal point of the home was the front porch, and it was facing out into the neighborhood, the front yard and the neighborhood. Right? Then the focal point of the house became the backyard, much more isolated and atomized. Then the focal point became the living room and everything, all the furniture is facing what? The TV. Uh, so, so now it, there's not even like face-to-face -face communication. Now everyone's sitting next to each other looking at a thing. And now it's, it's like worse than that. Now... Everyone in the family has their own screens, their own iPads, or their own TVs in their own rooms, and everyone's even more atomized. So that's an atomization of the family, even within the home, let alone breakdown of the family. And then you throw COVID on top of that, socially keeping us even more distant, so she's definitely onto something there. But I love this term, spiritual malnourishment. A spiritual malnourishment of the country. Goodness gracious, of course, that's true. We have this space that was, was made to be filled with God, and, and it's, we, we've kicked him out and we got to fill it with something. Got to fill it with something. We try to fill it with something. And, and one of those things we've tried is this tribalness of race and it's created its own religion and, and cult, right? Slater Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe. We got plenty.